Hi guys, and welcome back to another video. Today, I have something very exciting to reveal, and that is our new Aero Kit for the FATM3. If you guys have been following the channel, you would have seen us talking about developing our own Aero for this car when we actually picked it up around three years ago. But for a variety of reasons, mainly being our carbon supplies being so busy with the Eventuri products, and then actually going through the process of designing, prototyping, and getting ready to produce the products, and obviously the delay with COVID this year, we're finally ready to reveal the kit and it is right in front of me here. So we have designed the rear spoiler, a three piece rear diffuser, a front lip, and also these things which go in the sides and we've been nicknamed them fangs because they look like snake fangs. You can call them whatever you want. Um, so the process for this was scanning the 3D information off the car, having the kit designed in CAD, then 3D printing them to actually test fit them on the car. And now we're actually seeing the finished carbon fiber products. I'm really happy with them. Uh, the carbon fiber is the same quality that you get from Eventuri. We've tried to put a V in the middle wherever we can. And also you can see the Evero branding, which is actually a metal badge underneath the lacquer. So it's quite dynamic in the light. Um, going through the individual pieces, the rear spoiler is a bit more aggressive than the CS. So the CS would just be the bit that sits on top, but we've actually gone further down. And these lines here, we've tried to match up to the lines in the carbon roof that comes with the car. On the rear diffuser, we've gone underneath the exhausts and we've gone a slightly bit more aggressive on the fins than a normal OEM plus would be. And these are the side bits of the diffuser. They just finish it going all the way around. We did toy with the idea of just doing a middle part, but I wanted to do a diffuser that goes around the sides, which we'll show you when it's fitted. So the front lip is a kind of a mixture between a CS and a GTS, which we had on there before, but we've just added our own little design touches into it. And these are something new that no one's done before. They are kind of Marmite. Some people love them. Some people don't like them at all. We personally think they work, but it's an option for somebody. You can run the front lip with or without these, uh, but they are very different and no one's actually done anything like this. And we have had a lot of interest on them. So I'm really excited to see what the final products look like on the car. So the guys are going to put these on and I'll see you once they're all fitted.
We had a look at the parts individually, now they're on the car so we can actually see what it looks like in its entirety. And I have to say, this is the first time I'm seeing the production pieces on the car. I had seen the 3D printed pieces before, so I had a really good idea of what it's gonna look like. But I'm really, really happy with the way this turned out. We've fitted loads of body kits over the years from the likes of Warsteiner, RKP, 3D design. And it was always a dream of mine to actually be involved in the design process. And now we're here, we've designed the kit and we've manufactured it and it is on our car. So this car not only has our body kit designed through Ivero, but also has the wheels from 660, which I was involved in the design process. So literally this is like my perfect FATM3. I made it in the way that I really wanted it. And the kit is a little bit different and I hope that it provides another option in the marketplace and you guys like it as much as we do. So let's have a closer look. I'll start with the spoiler. So there are spoilers a bit like this on the market. So I've taken some design inspiration from the CS, but what we've done is extended it out a little bit from the top and also made it come down onto the boot lid here. Made this indentation quite aggressive and this indentation here is in line with the roof indentation on the top. Um, we've also, as much as possible, tried to do the carbon V meeting in the middle just to give it a little bit more character. In terms of the branding, that is actually a metal badge which we've put underneath the lacquer so it changes dynamically in the light and we've tried to make it subtle. The rear diffuser, again, it's three piece. So we've got the middle piece here and then the side bits which go around. And I don't mind something when it's just the middle piece, but I really like it when it's completed. It just finishes off the bumper really well. These fins did start off just like that piece, but we wanted to give a little bit more aggression. So we've curved these ones out. And overall, I think it looks really aggressive, especially with these towel pipes. So we've seen the back of the car, which is very aggressive. Now, if you have a very aggressive rear end, you need the front end to match. So you've got some balance. And I think that we've managed to pull that off. I'll start with the front splitter first. So I've had a GTS front lip on this car for most of its life. And I really like that. It was very aggressive, but it was not very practical for road use at all, especially with speed bumps. Um, and I really like the CS uh, front lip um, on the M3 CS. So this is a kind of hybrid between the two, but we've added our own touches in again. And I've really thought about the practicality on this. So where it comes out quite aggressively here, it goes in in the middle to try and help going over steep hills or speed bumps or driveways. And we've also got the V in the middle there with the, where the branding is. So that runs through the whole kit. And the more interesting or controversial thing about the front end is these things here, which we never actually made a, had a name for them. We were calling them air vents, but people have started calling them fangs. So we've carried that on and no one's done anything like this. So we've seen people do this top bit here and a bottom bit here that comes around here. So we just added these things, which people are calling fangs. And I think it really adds some aggression to the front end of the car. Now, these two pieces are completely independent of each other. You can just run the front lip if you want. It looks really smart and you can run these independently or you can run them both together. And I think it really finishes off the front end of the F80. When BMW designed uh, this car, you could see that it had some parts missing. They've almost designed it to take the M performance part. So it lends itself really well to being a bit creative with the body kit. I'm really happy with the way this car has turned out. I'm really happy that I've been able to pursue my dream of designing my own body kit for this car. Not only that, and the wheels. I think it's finished off really nicely. Let us know what you think of it in the comments. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you'd like to watch more of this project, you can do so over here. If you'd like to watch what YouTube suggests you might like from our other videos, you can watch that over here. If you like this video, please click on the thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. If you guys have any questions, please drop them in the comment section and we'll do our best to answer them for you.